What's going on? Vincent Repsardi, Big Blue on Bias.com. Thank you to those who've liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to turn notifications on so every time I post, you get a notification and you can come join in on the conversation. This is a late night post. Some of you love the late night post. Some of you don't. I don't know. Whatever. This is the time I'm posting. It is what it is. So I'm going to do a quick video here because of some Kenny Galladay Giants trade rumors. So apparently, according to Jordan Reynaud of ESPN, the Giants recently talked to the Lions about potentially acquiring wide receiver Kenny Galladay. Now, from what I've seen so far on Twitter, kind of like a split. Like Some people are like, no, just wait until he's a free agent at the end of the year. And then some people are like, yeah, the Giants should go out and get him. Um, here's the thing. Let's start with Galladay, the player. 6'4", 26 years old, will be 27 um, in November. This is a guy who average, right now is averaging almost 17 yards per reception over the course of his NFL career. Uh, this season, a catch percentage over 70%, averaging 17 yards per reception. He has two touchdowns, had 11 touchdowns last season, and in 2018 and 2019, was targeted at least well, targeted over 100 times. He targeted at least 100 times in 2018 and 2019. So... We're talking about a big play wide receiver who was targeted a lot. So his high yards per reception, you know, it's not like, okay, you know, he's targeted like 60, 70 times and he catches like 30 passes. And that's why his yards per reception is almost 17 um, per reception, 17 yards per reception over the course of his career. No, we're talking about a player who's targeted a lot and is consistently making big plays. He's young, he's right in the prime of his NFL career. Um, this would be a great addition for the Giants. Now, let me address the free agent situation. There are, you know, obviously, like I said, about a 50-50 split. There's a certain amount of people who are like, he's a free agent. Why would the Giants trade for him? Well, as we saw with Yannick Ngakwe, right, a player who is given the franchise tag by Jacksonville and then traded for a second and a fifth-round pick, who was then traded to Baltimore recently. But we look at last offseason, the Jaguars placed the franchise tag on him and then eventually got some pretty good, uh, a pretty good return when trading him. So if the Giants, let's just say they did trade for Kenny Galladay, they could still franchise tag him, and they basically control um, his future. Whether that's giving him a long-term extension or just keeping the franchise tag for another season or trading him and getting something back. Whether Dave Gettleman is there or not, the Giants have the opportunity if they acquired Kenny Galladay. And this has been my point about trading for a wide receiver, and I talked about Adam Thielen weeks and weeks ago. Um, Daniel Jones needs another wide receiver. I believe he needs another wide receiver. Sterling Shepard played well coming back from injury on Thursday. Darius Slayton, good young player. But you want to make sure that you surround your young quarterback, your developing quarterback, with as many weapons as possible in a good offensive line. And right now the Giants' offensive line is not playing very well. The 31st in pass block win rate, last in pressure percentage. Um, they're not doing their job. But still, you want to gift your quarterback, your young developing quarterback, as many weapons and playmakers as possible. So at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, you can say at least you tried. When you take a guy sixth overall, you want to make sure you give him everything that he, he needs to succeed. So you know for sure, okay, this guy is the future, okay, he's not. Either way. So if you go out and you get a player like Kenny Galladay, obviously it, it all depends on what the Giants would give up and what the Lions would want in a trade, obviously. But if they were able to get him and it wasn't a crazy price, um, again, you're putting your young developing quarterback in a situation where you give him a legitimate playmaker. He's 6'4" in the prime of his career, big play wide receiver. So all of a sudden you give Jones Galladay, you give him Slayton, you give him Shepard. And at least now you can say, well, Daniel Jones was given playmakers. It's up for him to play well. If he improves moving forward, you'd say, okay, all right, he just needed a little help. If he doesn't, then you could say, well, Giants gave him help and he wasn't good enough. And maybe it's a sign that he's just not a franchise quarterback. You gotta understand with young quarterbacks, right? Um, you need to give them help. Now, when it comes to a veteran quarterback who's played 10, 12 years in the league, you hope he can elevate players. A franchise quarterback who's been around for 10 to 12 years, you want him to elevate players. You want Eli Manning to make undrafted Victor Cruz into a good football player. And I think Eli Manning definitely had something to do with Victor Cruz um, performing the way that he did in his NFL career. I'm not saying he has to make, they have to make every undrafted player a star, but my point is they elevate players. Um, and put them in situations that maybe they wouldn't have been without that franchise quarterback. So... 10- to 12-year franchise quarterback, you hope he can elevate players. But a guy in his first or second season, a developing quarterback, give him as much help as possible. Give him as many weapons as possible. And at the end of the day, if he succeeds, if he doesn't, you can say, okay, well, we tried. Okay, we gave him all the players we could, all the weapons we could, as many pieces on the offensive line as we could, and 
If it worked out, great. If it doesn't, okay, we tried. So that's what I think the Giants, um, if I were the Giants, if I were Dave Gettleman, it's not about trying to save Dave Gettleman's job. It's about figuring out for sure who is the franchise quarterback moving forward for the Giants. Uh, right now, Daniel Jones has an opportunity to be that guy. Give him as many playmakers as possible and find out for sure if he's the franchise quarterback. Now, we'll see if they ultimately make a trade. I mean, they're one and six. I can understand them not making a trade, but if I were the Giants, I would not be opposed to making a trade for a wide receiver, a good wide receiver, um, even if he is a free agent. Because again, you can franchise tag a guy and you could either re-sign them, you can keep that franchise tag for another year, or you can go ahead and trade them. 